Hey what's up guys, this is Sai from IDT over here. So welcome to this new series that I'm starting. So in this series we are gonna learn to create um, you know an Instagram clone. So for this we are gonna be using Swift 3, Xcode 8 and Firebase. So without further ado, let's get started. So in this video we are gonna be uh, setting up Firebase, creating our Xcode project and integrating the pods and stuff like that okay so let's get started so what we need to do is open up uh, your browser and uh, go to firebase.google.com and you know sign into your gmail accounts to you know get access of the dashboard so from here what we need to do is we are gonna go and click here to get started for free and there and that takes us to the console right so let's wait for this okay and once we are here inside the console, we have the option to create a new project. That is by clicking on the Add Project button. So I'm going to do that. And then we can type the project name and your country region. So I'm going to type my project name. Let's say, what should we call our app, guys? Um, we are going to call our app... Let's call it Instagram, actually. Let's call it Instagram, okay? Let's call it Instagram. So I'm going to call it Instagram and country region United States depending on where you live and click create project so let's wait for this to you know load up alright so now this takes us to this page where we have the three options Add Firebase to your iOS app, Android app, and to your web app. So we are going to click on iOS app since we are making an iOS app. And now it here asks your bundle ID, your app name, and your app store ID. So before you know, you know, completing this form, I'm just going to minimize this, and we have to create our Xcode project. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click Create a New Xcode Project, Single View Application. Call this Instagram right hit next and I'm going to be simply storing it on my desktop alright so we have the project done now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to type the uh, iOS bundle ID which is going to be com dot your app name which is Instagram dot iOS and here you need to type your app name Instagram and you don't need to type your app store ID because it's optional actually to be honest even the app nickname is optional so there's no use to you know even write it but I'm just gonna write my app name but you don't need to write the app store ID uh, or you know let's write it I'm just gonna keep it to one of three four five six seven eight nine so I'm just gonna do that it's, but you know if you're confused if you need to write it or not you you know it's totally up to you because you see it's optional so after filling up this form, I'm just going to hit register app and um, then it's going to take me to the download config file. So you're going to go over here and click on download Google service info plist. So this is really important guys, okay? So once you hit on that, it's going to download the info plist. Now I'm going to open up my Xcode project and I'm going to drag the info plist inside here. So once it's dragged up, we have to make sure that you know the copy items if needed is selected and hit finish. Alright, so I'm just gonna change name to Google Service Info PLS. So you have two info PLS. One is the custom one, the default one, which uh, Xcode gives you once you uh, you know uh, create a new project. And now you have the Google Service Info PLS, which includes all those important features that will help us to you know manipulate our app in terms of login, registration, analytics, storage, database, and all that stuff. Okay, so now we have added it. So I'm just gonna hit next. Now we have to you know. Um, create a pod file okay now if you don't have cocoa pods you could click on this link and it tells you how to install cocoa pods so assuming that you have cocoa pods now what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna be 
you know, closing my Xcode project by quitting Xcode, okay? Then I'm gonna come to a terminal and then I'm gonna type in cd desktop slash Instagram. So these are uh, just the direct, you know, the the uh, location of my, you know, Xcode project. So it's on my desktop slash Instagram. That's the folder name, and I'm gonna hit enter, and that takes me inside the folder name folder actually. So I'm gonna type in ls. So you have all the four files. That is Instagram, Instagram .xcode proj, Instagram test, and Instagram UI test. So now I'm gonna say pod in it. All right. I'm gonna hit enter so it creates the pod and now I'm, I need to say um, ls again and now we have the new pod file now I'm gonna say vim pod file exactly as it is mentioned above over here and I'm gonna hit enter okay now this brings me to this area now inside this I want to type I so it's gonna allow me to edit this and under the use framework section as you could see over here I'm just gonna make some space I'm gonna say pod firebase with an F capital right and then I'm gonna say pod firebase database And then I'm going to say pod firebase storage so these three are the uh, pod files that we need for now if you uh, like obviously we could add more into it by you know editing the pod file so for now we need these three so once I have written this I'm just gonna hit escape and I'm gonna come down over here and I need to say colon WQ so that's gonna exit out of this and I'm gonna save it and once I did that all I need to do is hit pod install and now it's gonna install all of the uh, stuff that we need and it's done practically so once we have did that you just gotta close your terminal and once you go into the folder that you you know of the Instagram Xcode project you see you have the pod pod file the pods and you have something called as the Instagram XC workspace so now every time you open the uh, this project the Instagram uh, Xcode project instead of clicking on Instagram Xcode pods you're gonna open the XC workspace so I'm gonna click on that and wait for my project to open up and now it's over here and now you could see along with Instagram we also have something called as pods so this uh, these includes all the frameworks, the pods and products that we need that include all the Firebase tools for our app. So this is basically how we integrate pa uh, you know Firebase into our app using uh, you know the pods. Now one last step that is left over here is to configure our app with the you know Firebase. So what we need to do is come over here and I want to import Firebase. And then I'm gonna to come to the did finish launching with options, and I'm gonna say fir app dot configure. All right, so this what this is what you know helps to configure the Firebase with our app. So this basically connects the Firebase um, in like with our app with the Xcode projects. So this is gonna help us to store data, to access the database, the storage, uh, you know, store user information, signing up, login, and all that stuff. So for that, make sure that you import a Firebase and you have written this line of code fireapp.configure. So this is basically the setting up part. So this is the end of the uh, part one. So I hope you guys understood everything that I did in this lecture. So if you have any kind of doubt regarding this lecture, please feel free to post it down in the comment section. And in the next video, we are going to be you know, designing our welcome screen and we are going to be also designing the sign-up screen. So that's what we're going to be doing in the next lecture. So bye guys, I'll meet you in the next part. Peace out.